Good afternoon. Uh, I thought I'd do another coastal scene, but with the land going going across, similar to the Lake District, that sort of area. Uh, so I'll wet the paper all over. I'm using Fabriano 130 pound cold press paper from Grantham's. They do it in blocks of 100, which makes it economical. 15 inches by 11, so it's a good quarter in the old quarter imperial. Okay, I'm going to use my favourite colours, which are, 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 are Sienna, the, the both Siennas, probably Umber, uh, Ultramarine, and Burnt Sienna. But we'll see. I, I, I do tend to to bulk to pretty colours. I'm not a that sort of painter. I like drab, moody scenes. So I'll mix a bit of bit of the bit of the siennas. So I just just get them in. Well, it's a bit of atmosphere with the skies on this. Okay, so we'll get in with the burnt sienna, the paint's grey, that's always a good mix. Just seen the Facebook page of uh, the Corner Gallery, it's a small gallery in Carswalton Beaches. Have a, look, have a look on your Facebook, Corner Gallery, or the Corner Gallery. So I'll just get this. More paint scrape, but a little bit looser. I'll just get this in the matching the sky. And we've got a little bit of bit of dark on the top there. When you hike splits, just dip in touching the water and just work at it till it uh, comes back together again. Okay? Right, I'm going to let that go. I quite, quite like that. Let's just get that bit under there. Low sky. From the corner gallery, the, the, the theme is uh, sky. Or 70% sky, so that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to reclip the paper. Gives me plenty of scope for using the card and the, and the landscape. Now, because I didn't over wet the paper, I can work into this quite quickly. So, same similar sky colours. Right, I'm working quick before the afternoon light starts to fade just a little bit. I don't want to put the light on. So that's about 70%, so this would be the, the background. A bit of blue in there, I think. These peaks in the Lake District. And I'll stiffen up underneath. Very similar to what I did the other day. I don't mind that. I like uh, going over. We're going uphill a little bit there, so let's get some nice dark underneath there. But warmish dark. Now remember, while that's wet, you to, for the paint to register, you need thick paint. Up. So we just get all that in there. Be careful, your hike needs to. You need to be aware of where it is. 
Not they, she's a hot. But today you can hear the grandson. I have to contend with him today and, and the pussy. Right, let's warm this up with some sienna, raw sienna and burnt sienna. Let's see what happens with that. Come across here just a little bit. Just a bit variations on the theme, this. Right? Trees here. All right, let's get some dark in there. All right, let's get some darks in there. See, they register when you put them in thick. It's when you paint over wet paper that it all goes wishy-washy. Now that gives us scope to uh, scrape out a little bit. There won't be a lot of showing on here, but just put in some little bits. It's dry now, so we'll just Scrapings here. <coughs> just some stuff in there. I oh, will just bring these winter. Yeah, you know, I love winter trees. That's right, I can do some bigger work in there and I can put some nice warm colours in, in there. Some sienas, burnt sienna that is. Okay. <coughs> me. Now, I'm going to do a slightly different foreground, I think. I'm going to... It's just slightly different. I want my sienna, my two siennas. Let's just get it. Some nice darks in there. So maybe you need the dark so you can etch out your rocks and things. But you need dark paint to initially to be able to do that. More darks in here. Keep it wet. Just a bit of reflection in there. Sun in there. Grasses. Totally unrealistic, but who cares? We're, we're trying to make art, not photographic copies of anything, so let's uh, get our rocks in here. Bleach. Show some grasses and there's some pieces coming up here. Alright, 
We'll put in some more darks on that background, I think. Just to vary, give another depth, bit of depth. No reflection because you're too far away. A bit of dry brush though in the water. Right, okay. So let's just stroke up some. Okay. Do a bit of calligraphy now. Clean my brush off. This is John Paul come up to say hello to his granddad. Or just stand back. Yeah, good idea. Just a bit of texture in here. Okay. Right. Um, put some little boats in from the dry brush and then. Waves flat, and we'll put some little masses, just little sailing boats. As you know, I'm not uh, a boat person, but they're nice just to, to see. Give it a try. A little bit of dry brush.
Hardly. Any more than half will be ruin it. Okay, we will uh, oops, let's be bigger. Let's put in some more another bows here. But I think rigor is, is okay. Uh, if you, uh, it's just too too long for figures, I reckon, or small figures. See, that's ruined. I'll have to lift that out. Uh, I think you're better with a. I think with a small brush like that. So I have to wait for that to dry off a little bit. Let's put in some figures here. He doesn't really want to paint, he just wants to do what I'm doing. Alright, let's put a bit of a red top on him. Star again. Well, he's not very, not very distinct, is he? Right, let's uh, lift out some some bits and pieces here with this little half inch flat. Let's just get in some. Let's lift all the odds. It wasn't so long ago when I used a bit of gouache to do this. Nothing wrong with a bit of gouache. There's a nice dark bit. That's why I put the darks in there to lift out a bit of, bit of paint to show these little boats. Uh, I reckon you need to strengthen up uh, this a little bit here. It's a bit muddy. But then I'm using sort of this goes down here with it. I'm using sort of muddy colours. Yeah, that's better. Alright, uh, I'm not happy with the way that dried there, so let's see if I can just straighten up a little bit. Some birds in. Slow down. 
Oh, there's good objects in there. In the sky. Right, I'll give that a signature. Okay, so, so there's another similar to what I did before. So I'll call that a coastal scene rather than a than inland waterways. Uh, good fun to do. Lost it a bit bit there. But uh, I'm not too displeased with that. Thanks for watching. Let's bring you around and have a, have a good look at that. I'll wind you up. In more ways than one. So there it is. That's, that's the finished job. Let's go in to see the zoom of these areas. Let's show you the background. Focus. So there, there are the distant trees on the distant shore, backed up by some hilly hinterland. Coming into the beach sort of area, and the boats. My man is a bit thick, a bit like me sometimes. Very simple foreground. Very easy to do. It's worth practicing, spending a bit of time. Put below what you put above and, and then that, that will give you your reflections. More or less in the right place, of course. Right, okay. See you soon. Bye-bye.